Good news. <laughs> the show turned around immediately. Brian Danielson versus John Moxley. They did a little bit of grappling. <laughs> and then they Is proceeded. That that was? Then they proceeded to hit each other as hard as they possibly could, especially Danielson, with every available body part. And they weren't doing a lot of things like uh, Minoru Suzuki elbow or a big Valter chop. So they weren't maybe as spectacular as a lot of stiff wrestling matches you may have seen. But I'm watching these close-ups of Danielson punching and kicking and kneeing John Moxley in the gut and ribs. Just you know what this match needed? Smashing him. They needed that UFC uh, uh, 4K slow motion camera for uh, replay. Yes, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you would have seen so much jiggling flesh. Oh, in this fucking match. <laughs> These guys beat the holy living fucking shit out of each other, and they bled. And <laughs> like they had that interview segment. You might recall Vinny because we reviewed it on Wednesday. Where uh, Danielson beats up Chris Daniels, and then Moxley comes out, and Moxley's just pacing like that that angry tiger. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. what did I say? I said I, I fucking watched this interview segment, and all I could think was a fan was that shit's going down at this pay per view, and god damn it, did shit ever fucking go down? That is the only way to describe this match. If someone said what happened in this match, I'd say shit went down, and you don't need to hear anything else because that's what fucking happened. Shit went down in this fucking match. Two guys got in the ring and shit went down. And they were bleeding everywhere. And they fucking hit each other as hard as they could. And they pounded on each other and and stretched each other and fucked each other up. And then one guy was killing the other fucker. He had him in a triangle. He was fucking killing him and he was elbowing him to death. And then a guy rolled over and pinned him. God damn, what more do I need to say? (laughs) There's nothing more to say. Tom saw, Tom texted me and he said, this was all the stars in the Milky Way. Yes. I just went with a, a million, because I'm not sure how many stars are in the Milky Way. But you know what? Whichever is more, a million or the number of stars in the Milky Way, that's how many fucking stars this match gets. Like, start to fucking scale over it like a million. Everyone mad that Dave gave a match seven stars? I give that match a million stars! You don't like it? Fuck you! Go watch it. Go watch something else. Go watch some, like, fucking volleyball. Or, or nothing against volleyball, but, like, go watch some fucking sport where WWE's getting all their athletes, some goofy whatever doing whatever. I want to watch fucking men fight and beat the shit out of each other, and I got that in this match. God damn. I saw Moxley bleed less in a GCW death match a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> there, the, 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 the big spot is uh, Danielson hits a tope, and they start brawling on the floor, and they both come up bloody. Now, they may, <laughs> technically that is true, but 99% of this blood was Moxley's. Mm-hmm. It's pouring out of the front of his head. There's some pouring off the back of his head. It's all over his shoulders. It's pouring down his chest. He looks like Finn Balor with, with face paint on. And uh, they cut to Danielson, and he has just one red dot in his head. <laughs> it's like a great imbalance. And fortunately, they corrected it as best they could. There's also a point right before that where... As these men are just just smashing each other, there's some awkward silence in the announced desk. And then Jim Ross just mutters, Tony, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and Tony says, I'm very excited. I'm getting animated. I can only imagine. He must have been doing something on that chair. I could even stand up or shaking or something. I don't know. God, but... Damn, I don't blame the guy. So, Fuck. yeah. Uh, there's... there's not much to say about this. They just hit each other. I, I can, well, looking over here, lays in the MMA elbows, lays in the cross faces, massive kick fight with a knuckle lock. There was a I'll rip. If you interviewed either of those guys right now, they'd tell you it was nothing. This match was nothing. It's fucking yeah. easiest match in the world. I certainly hope that's true. But goddamn, what a match. There was, in fact, a regal plex in the match as uh, Danielson regal plex mocks the end of his head. But uh, as you noted, he, he he was running wild. He hit the knee strike, and even though Moxley kicked out of that, Danielson just goes to the triangle choke with a bunch of punches. He puts his fist right on... <laughs> he puts his fist right on Moxley's eyeball, makes sure it's where he wants it to go, and rears back and punches him in the eye. But then Moxley rolls through over the top, and he gets the three count. I would much rather take a suplex and a tax and a chain to the back than the beating these men gave each other with their... Dude, Fists and kicks. Brian Danielson on, on the Observer show the other day was talking about how him and probably Moxley and some other guys want to go to the G1. 
And fucking like those guys are gonna watch this fucking match and go, we don't want them. No, they're banned, <laughs> they're banned from the crazy? country. We got we got twenty five shows in a month. That's not happening. Golly, I love this match with every shred of fiber. Hundred million stars apparently, by the way, in the Milky Way. Okay, okay. so yeah, that's, that's what, what this match was. Okay, now there's more. We have more to say about this match because Danielson is outraged that uh, he let, had his shoulders down and. Moxley says, that's fine, we can fight more. And they start fighting more, and the rest waving his hands for help, and who should emerge to break up this brawl but one William Regal? He's all elite Addressed now. Addressed as William, by the way, not Steven. They didn't notice that, too. They called him William. William. I don't see how that works out, but he, of course, had a hand in uh, training and or mentoring and or working with both these dudes. And he comes out, and of course, it's Regal, and he's just got the best facial expressions ever. And he's disgusting. Disgusted with these two. Mm -hmm. and the match is over. There's no point in fighting now. And he break. He pulls Moxley aside and just slaps the absolute <laughs> piss out of him. <laughs> just harder than he was in in the match itself. Daniels is laughing his ass off at this, so Regal turns around and slaps the piss out of him. He demands they shake hands, and it's very tense, but they do. And they all leave together, and this faction has now been a thing for approximately, what, 90 minutes? Uh, it's already the greatest faction I ever saw in my life. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Regal signed, so so maybe he will be their man. Yeah, they, they, they've, they've announced oh, it. Holy William shit. William Regal, and they called him William Regal in the tweet, too. William Regal's all elite. God damn. This was this, just... Regal is a manager and mouthpiece. Not that either of you guys needs a mouthpiece, but right. but uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's an unbelievably great role and un, an unbelievably great unit. He's got blood yeah. coming down his forehead. and He's grinding, he's grinding he's his head off. into Moxley's. So. Yeah. Oh, my God. One dot on the end of his nose of blood. This was one of those things where I wasn't expecting it, and I popped. I I just, you know, like a like a kid at Christmas time. It's like that's that's my guy, and there he is. I was not expecting William. I was I was half expecting Jeff Hardy tonight. Not no way on earth did I expect William Regal, and there he was in all of his glory, and I'm so happy. I looked in the mirror after the show, and I was like, fuck, I'm starting to look like William Regal with this fucking haircut. You got a lot of shag to go. Yeah, I guess so. The dramatic reading of the Hulk Hogan Brutus Beefcake promo. Please welcome the Mega Maniacs, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, Mean Gene? Now more than ever, with just one week away, I'm aware of how destiny is going to take its course, brother. Because just a few short weeks ago, bro, when I was laying in the weeds at Venice Beach, California, and I had Monday Night Raw tuned in, I saw Money Incorporated run across the ring with a metal attache case with the speed of a lightning bolt. And as it crashed into Brutus, the bionic barber beefcake, Blood Brothers' face... I saw what I didn't want to see. I heard what I didn't want to hear. The emotions ran from head to toe. I chilled. I goosebumped. And I broke a sweat as I stood up, man. And I rushed from head to toe. I spent two days running up and down the aisles of Kmart, picking up that tonic, getting all that hair color together. And getting ready to do a number on Money Incorporated. I was sniffing for the hair tonic. I was sniffing for the butch wax. And lo and behold, as I kicked down the door of the Ramada Indoor at 48th and 8th Avenue, just a bit north of the Mid-City Gym, I found the brother, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, with his feet propped up on an ottoman, laid back in a lazy boy, watching Mo, Larry, and Curly with an ice pack on his nose. Thank God for the man upstairs, that Brutus the Barber is okay. So I took to the desert outside Las Vegas, chopping down some big nasty-looking cactuses, trying to dull up the titanium steel blades, chopped down a couple of small mountains, and then it came to me, brother. I knew that I'd just throw the scissors away because I'm just going to yank the hair right out of their heads. So Las Vegas, Nevada, and the whole wide world... What are you going to do when the Mega Maniacs run wild on you?
The Hulkster, Hulk Hogan, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, the Mega Maniacs, perhaps the next tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation. The Hulkster has never looked better live and in mint condition. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.